Okay, so you say, why don't we get to see the inside of your house, Raven Sky 23? How come we only get to see the outside of your house, Raven Sky 23? Did Timbergate do anything on the inside of the house? Well, yes, he did. Well, he didn't do this. Well, he did. He put this in, but this is the looking out our sliding glass door. And look at our lovely furniture. Ooh, it's a compound miter saw. Isn't that nice? Not everybody has one of those in their house. Um, we live in a timber frame house. Uh, oh, but yeah, this isn't going to probably show. But anyway, we're going to try it. Maybe the camera will adjust. See these timbers? Timber Geek made them, hence his name. This is going to be our future office. See the beautiful wood. Ignore the things that are hanging up there, getting out of the way. This is where my little corner of the world will be. And in order to see his, we're going to have to move the tripod. <laughs> it doesn't get more real than this, people. This is moving the tripod into the office where it's very dark and uh, even though it's like two in the afternoon. Um, anyway, let's hope someone gives us editing software so you don't have to sit through all this. Freaking tripod. Whoa, you still with me folks? You're looking at the joinery and the ceiling. I meant to do that. Not. Okay, so this is the window between us where we'll be sitting with our computers and doing YouTube. This is Timber Geek's little corner. Won't have the bandsaw blades hanging from the rafters. Uh, and that's the door to the office going out, blah, blah, blah. And this is where his drafting table will be instead of all this junk on the floor. So now we're gonna pan up. Hopefully, please God, let this work. These are some of the beams in our ceiling in our office. Pretty beams. There is a ceiling fan up there. Um, yes, we do have electricity. That's one thing we do have. And here is uh, more rafters and beams. Really fun to put this stuff in. And let's see what else. Okay, we're gonna do a 360 here. Hold on, everybody. This probably will not see the light of day. Anyway, this wall, we're gonna have cork board on. Then we're turning around here. Those lights won't be there. You can barely see up here. There is, I don't know how I can describe this, but anyway, that's the second floor up there. And that foamy stuff that looks like popcorn, the ceiling is our insulation up there. And there's a chimney right up in here. That's into my pantry and eventually into my kitchen and all that wood is siding that won't be there hopefully pretty soon. Chops off. So anyway. That is the living room. And let's pause this a minute. Okay, I turned some lights on, so maybe you'll be able to see this, I don't know. Um, that's the sliding glass doors. There's my uh, alternate form of transportation. Wah. This is the chimney that you'll get a different view from in a minute. Um, there's the lights, I hope not to blind you. Anyway, if you look at the ceiling, now that I have the lights on, hopefully you can see. This is the ceiling of the living room. There are several different kinds of wood here. Timber Geek's gonna explain them all to you. But basically, this beam up here is spruce, uh, black birch, uh, red oak, I don't know. Anyway, he'll explain that, okay. Back over here, he made these stairs, which aren't to code yet because we have no railings. Oh, look, I lied, I said it was two o'clock and there's a clock on the stairs that says it's three o'clock. Um, anyway, the stairs that go to the second floor. And he did a really cool thing with these stairs. Maybe I can show these to you. They are alternated every other, the back, whatever those back thingies are called. Uh, cherry and maple. No, maple, jeez. He's going to kill me. Um, cherry and blah, blah, blah. Can't remember shit. Got CRS. Can't remember shit. Um, Cherry and hickory, that's the wood. Jeez. And yellow pine for the landing on the stairs. Um, and we're, let's go upstairs, okay? How fun. Okay, we just came up the stairs. Are you winded? I'm not. This room, <laughs> this room is my fabricology room. What is that you say? Well, it's where I do weaving. This is a 45 inch loom sitting under there, looming under there. Um, and these are stairs going up to the attic, but we'll do those in a minute. Anyway, um, we just had the insulation done up here. It was spray-on soy insulation. 
And there it is. Freaking bizarre. Looks like alien landscape. Okay, and then ah da 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 da. Windows. This will be closet space. Stairs to the attic. I don't know if you can see that. Chimney. Boop -boop -boop. God, if you don't get sick doing this. And this will be our bedroom. Not up there, silly. Down in here. This floor is yellow pine. And this crack over there behind there is going to be have a backing to it. And there's going to be baskets under there storing clothes. And this is the bathroom, which you can't see. But trust me, there's a bathroom behind that wall. And window. Let's go over and look out the window. There is my truck down there. That's our driveway. And there, full circle, is the trough with, whoops, the trough with the board in it out front. Craziness. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm dizzy. And just... Oh wait, well, well, we'll look up the one more story. Here we go. And the staircase that he also made, it's going to be left just like it is. And there is up into the attic, which is huge. Oops, I hear siding blowing off the side of the house. Nice. Um, this is Francois. Can you see Francois? I don't know if you can. Francois is this architectural bronze that I found. And uh, I thought he was a woman until we got him home. We saw he's a little Frenchy guy. He's got stuff all over him right now, but he's going to hang up on our chimney. Bonjour, Francois. 